Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff. And as always, I also publish on Rumble, the blogger site and on Patreon for extra support. Any kind of news and as such, I usually go about on Twitter X, um, usually mainly uh, regarding live stream. Again, not going to beat the dead horse. When I can, I will um, live stream and I will let everybody know on the Twitter. Um, Regarding uh, channel updates, just a quick update again. Uh, one episode per day for Midnight Sense for no being uh, through Monday through Saturday. So six episodes uh, until I wrap up the, the series there. Uh, I've been having a blast playing this game. I have uh, plenty of uh, backlog episodes so I can maintain this scheduling. Um, and yeah, just to keep your eyes it, uh, I'm aiming for, uh, again, I, I mentioned in the first couple episodes, I'm aiming for a light hunter path. So um, I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I do. Uh, again, and I already have some completed gameplay series from some games, some of them in 1080p. I will replace some of those uh, in 4K, uh, mainly because some trilogies here, probably Tomb Raider um, and Resident Evil and Alien Isolation. Uh, it's uh, on my uh, wish list to replay them when I have uh, time to introduce that gameplay series there. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it regarding channel updates. Uh, let's go to the news. Uh, Supposedly, uh, Asus uh, accidentally leased uh, 9000 X3D series. Uh, I think it has to do with the announcement, uh, announcing of the AMD, the 800 motherboard chip series. Uh, Microsite, it seems, uh, again, I didn't catch this one up. Uh, it seems that we're going to have the 9000 X3D, so uh, the usual stuff that is it is expected, 9950 X3D, the 99X3D and the 9800 uh, X3D uh, kind of um, chips there. And supposedly there is some rumblings of the 7600X3D. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, I think it might be a good, um, uh, I don't know, uh, the lower end of the 7800X3D. This is a six core. I don't know, it's something that uh, uh, like batches of, I don't know, between the 7700 or the 7800X3D that did not pass in some cases uh, the, the the quality standards and they probably deactivated some uh, uh, like a couple of cores there so they can um, or uh, yeah it, it must have the the, the 7800 actually didn't pass the quality expectations and then probably they deactivated a couple of cores there to match uh, what they want in terms of specifications for the what we now might call uh, in terms of 7600 actually i don't know uh it seems that way uh, again i think this has to do the difference between um the memory stuff there the, the v cache uh, has to do with the thing uh it's i think it's one megabyte per uh core there uh it seems but yeah we don't know exactly if this will come uh in terms of uh, frequencies and uh, tdps um, but I think we can expect around, uh, I don't know, uh, around something uh, 100 watts maybe. Uh, maybe they can maintain that uh, power delivery there. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And then again, we got the X3D, which uh, got a lot of extra cash, which according to the information seems to be in line with the 7th Bowser series in terms of X3D, in terms of cash, maintains the same kind of cash there. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if uh, by any chance again we know that in certain uh, workloads especially in gaming uh, the more v cache you have the better it performs to a certain degree but i don't know uh, what are the limits there if it is if you have too many if it is possible to have too many v cache there on the cpus uh, but yeah at least we got some rumblings here um, and there is some um um, rumors that the 7600 actually might come out in, in September, uh, which is very close to us. Uh, it, I think if they want to launch the X3D uh, CPUs there uh, from previous generations, I think they want to launch before the 9000, given that the 9000 series uh, lineup just launched this uh, month. I think they want to wait maybe for launching this, if they want to launch this year for the Christmas time there, 
mainly because of the they are very supposedly they are going to be very powerful uh, gaming CPUs again people trying to get their uh, Christmas presents with some I don't know uh, leveling up their game there in terms of hardware or building a new PC I don't know maybe I think it's better suited for that but yeah we'll have to wait a little bit more given that this is coming from uh, the, the micro site and the information I think this is regarding support stuff there um, yeah we'll have to wait for more detailed information and specifically official information from AMD given this is basically kind of a leak of Asus so we might we already know that they're going to launch the X3D ver versions we don't know when and what kind of detailed uh, specifications these CPUs will have so we'll have to wait and see regarding games we got again uh, so far it seems that uh, uh, Black Me Kong reached the maximum potential limit of uh, all-time peak of around 2.2 million players online again this game in terms of um, uh, of uh, overall uh, feedback seems very positive uh, people seem to be very happy playing this game um, again I heard some uh, again there is a lot of rumblings here and there um, and to a certain extent I think um, without knowing this kind of uh, 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 media outlets let's say they just go about and 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 trying to make uh, misrepresent to a certain degree what the game is uh, there are some uh, theories regarding uh, also um, game science uh, review guidelines uh, people are not that happy that they uh, it seems that they point out just focus on the game when you review the game uh, again um, people tend to forget that for good or for bad uh, given that uh, uh, game science is a Chinese developer uh, they have more strict rules regarding gaming uh, mainly because of the, the, the government there um, but then again uh, the fact that they managed to come out and launch a game um, out out in the uh, for the rest of the world usually um, again they try to be as careful as they can so they don't incur themselves in in their own country so china uh, in kind of any kind of penalties because they have certain uh, restrictions regarding how they can approach game games um i think they tend not to go uh, i think they are not able to to get uh, make the kind of games that might aim for um commentary especially on the political side there uh, but yeah taking all those factors I, I think this is a victory for them because they managed to squeeze out of those old restrictions and still come out with a pretty uh, good game uh, it has some issues uh, I think they're still um, we need to wait uh, I'm not sure yet I didn't follow up that much uh, in terms of performance I think it, uh, I think they are about to launch a patch there uh, but I will assume the game will be patched to be uh, to perform better for the hardware that is available there. Um, and again, my only concern there mainly is the invisible walls there in terms of exploration can be a little bit uh, jarring for people to think they can explore certain um, aspects of the levels and then they hit an invisible wall. It's it's a little bit annoying given that the game itself has a lot of hidden areas with hidden bosses and hidden items that you can uh, upgrade your character there uh, might be a little bit annoying i understand that uh, but i think overall the, the this game is a, a pretty good game for what it uh, aims to be which is an action rpg they always uh, 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 publicize that way they were never pretending to be something else than that uh, but yeah, if you like this kind of games, uh, it seems that it's a, a pretty excellent game there for, for what it, for what it uh, presents itself to be. Um, I don't see, uh, again, uh, I think the, a lot of this debate in the overall scheme of things of trying to shut down certain games there, uh, especially with the narratives of the, the, the acronym Mafia, the DEIs and all that jazz, the, the, that, uh, those talking points. Uh, basically, it, it uh, backfired on them and basically provided uh, itself in a way that gives the backfire similar to August Legacy. Uh, because, uh, again, uh, even August Legacy has some uh, pronounced stuff there, some, some stuff there, but uh, it's not... Um, 
uh, to the main message of the game. It, it caters to a, a, a greater audience and people, um, again, when things are done in, in, in a way that it uh, seem or feels okay-ish, I, I don't think people complain. They just take that uh, the overall experience as it is. And August Legacy is kind of a testament to that in, in certain degrees. Even Baldur's Gate 3 got a lot of shenanigans happening there that is, are not in line with, uh, or are to a certain degree in line with the uh, representation and all that uh, 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 thing there, but it's not part of the core. Uh, core it's not part of the the, the core game there. Um, better said that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Black Myth of Kong. It, it's basically again. Uh, it, it's an interpretation of the journey to the West, which is a, a mythological and um, a tale of uh, a god monkey that journeys to the West in search for enlightenment. It, it's uh, the, the the metaphors. It got a lot of metaphors there. And uh, again, uh, it's not, uh, I, I really don't understand <laughs> the screen rent thing of lack of uh, diversity and representation. Again, we've got a lot of, the, not all uh, animals in the game are monkeys to be lack of diversity and inclusion there. There is a lot of different beasts, mythological beasts and, 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 and metaphors for representation of whatever you want to uh, take that matter for as you want. But yeah. Uh, overall, again, um, uh, uh, most single player game played uh, as an all time pick there. It's an achievement by itself, uh, given that all the, 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 the backlash people were trying to put there uh, regarding this game. And it still has around 1 million players uh, playing at this moment in time, at the time of this recording. So it's a testament to the quality of the game by itself because um, users uh, that are not paying too much attention to all this. Uh, let's say drama of the inclusivity and 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 people anti the woke versus anti woke again it's very broad strokes the, the, the this representation but the normal persons will see a game they will see the trailers they will they, they like what they see and they will check out and if they really like uh, what they are saying they will buying the game and they don't give a crap as to uh, what people are saying about the game usually that's how it works and this is a testament to a certain degree it's a testament to that uh, philosophy of the the main masses seeing uh, a game or a trailer that they really enjoy seeing and they are curious about and they try out and they will buy and play uh, basically that's how it works uh, now i'm going to the, the this last part is going to be very focused on the uh, opening light uh, onl opening night live stream from gamescom again um a lot of uh, people talking about the, 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 the some markets being a little bit saturated. Again, uh, I, I saw the... Um, I didn't see it live when it happened. I watched the the, the VOD basically from uh, Gamescom. Um, again, a lot of games, a lot of shooter, multiplayer shooters, hero-based shooters. Uh, I don't know, a lot of these kind of games. Again, it's not for me. <laughs> I'm not waiting for these kind of games, um, but some of the things that were sure there uh, caught my interest for one reason or another. Uh, I covered this one, uh, the, the teaser that we saw with the peak thingy um, uh, a few days ago. I'm not sure if it happened. No, it doesn't appear here. Uh, which was a teaser, uh, 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 teaser, a teaser from Tarsier Studios. Uh, from the guys that did Little Nightmares, if not mistaken, and it's called Reanimal. Again, this is supposedly co-op or adventure. Again, co-op is not very well for me, but again, I was curious about what the teaser was about. And again, uh, a lot of beast animals here, very body horror kind of a thing, very, uh, yeah, uh, very horror-ish, let's say. But yeah, uh, it's coming to all uh, all the uh, platforms there. Uh, but I don't think we have. Yeah, we don't have yet um, a launch date. But yeah, this caught my eye here. We got also the a new Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh, so the first trailer, um, very interesting. Uh, very very interesting. This this boss here, the spider boss, um, and we got some other uh, things here. We got some uh, this little dragon here with the lightning, which is looks pretty sick then we got some companions here just the highlights of some companions uh some shots here and there and it's some shots of encampments also i'm not sure how 
all of this is going to work. Uh, but you, I think we got some co-op gameplay. I'm not sure if it is co-op or if it is a friend that you can, an NPC that you can bring with you. I, I'm not sure how those mechanics work. We got some cooking uh, thing happening here. I, I'm assuming it's like for buff uh, before the hunt and all that stuff. We got some uh, seems like. Um, um how do you call it a uh, temporary camp that you can assemble outside the base camps uh, the main base camps it seems uh, we can uh, do all the, the the buffing before going to the hunt and we got some uh, like main encampment here seems on the desert side of things again we got a lot of uh, good uh, showing up of how things might be going forward regarding monster hunter wilds again i will try to cover the best I can, given that um, they will be showing off uh, a lot of it uh, in terms of the demo booths. Maybe you can get a little more specifics uh, about uh, the villages and, and, and the support hunters and, and all that jazz. Again, I'm very new newbie in terms of uh, when it comes to Monster Hunter. But again, I'm, I'm still pumped up for this game. Hopefully, uh, I will be able to join in when it launches. Uh, we've got also some more Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Um, again, I this game is usually not for me. Kind of medieval sim, first person medieval sim. It's not my kind of jam there. But again, this game seems pretty interesting, very realistic on their, uh, their approach. Uh, and I think the story, it's kind of based... Uh, again, it's not uh, bit by bit, but it, it has to do a lot with 15th century uh bohemia again kind of uh nordic country not nordic um um germany in that area there kind of a thing there it, it seems to me poland between germany poland and all that three uh, that uh, countries around there in the 15th centuries again i think the story seems pretty okay from what it, for what it is you, you basically are a lowborn ramping up through the ranks uh and, and and try to claim something for yourself basically it's what it seems to be uh we got also this one uh it's only a teaser uh interested me because uh give me the vibes a little bit of um journey yeah journey i think it, it, those kind of uh, no dialogue you just do your actions uh it's called hurdling so it's it got this uh, little weird beasts um it seems you it's a lot of exploring and gathering and protecting them from some threats there, here and there. But again, uh, caught my interest here. Um, yeah, uh, I will try to keep my eyes on this one and see uh, how it fares the next updates that we get from this uh, game here. We got also more uh, trailers from uh, First Berserk Exam. Again, this uh, seems to be to prepping up to be a pretty excellent game. We got to show off on the trailer with more weapons. Uh, the first gameplay trailer, the 15 minutes gameplay trailer that we got was uh, with him dual wielding a sword and an axe, I think. And in this one, he also uh, wields uh, a great sword. I think it's a, or a colossal sword, depending on uh, how you take it. And a spear also. Very interesting. Uh, the, and the movesets and, and the special movesets and abilities. And we got a little bit more tease of what the story could be. A kind of alliance here between this guy here i think you face him off and i think this is the, the the voice that he's speaking when you heard on the gameplay demo there i think this is the voice that the, the, this this character uh but yeah interesting uh that uh, it seems to to uh to be prepping up for a good game here uh and it's coming early 2020 uh 25 here um yeah, uh, it's going to have also um, a close beta uh, in October, so uh, hopefully they can fine tune all the uh, all the mechanics there with this uh, close beta test there. Um, then we got also a teaser, just a trailer teaser with no in-game trail uh, video footage. It's just a very teaser regarding mafia game. Uh, again, this is going to be. Um, kind of a prequel of the Mafia uh, series there, uh, Mafia Old Country. Again, uh, I always interested me, I, I think I played the first Mafia when it came out, way, 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 way back then. Um, and it, it was very interesting, kind of a semi-open world, kind of GTA, uh, GTA vibes there. I think that game came a little bit before uh, GTA 3, 
we choose the first open, first person open world game or they were about the same kind of timeline there uh, i really enjoyed the, the the what they're trying to do there uh, and i didn't play the mafia 2 or mafia 3 uh, but then again it's one of those games if it done well uh, with certain mechanics and how for example the mafia works let's say and the, all the integration in terms of storytelling and the, the uh, rising up for the ranks there uh, and the fact that uh, again given that this in sicily italy i don't know uh, if it is going to be in sicily by itself uh, i'll probably uh, think it will be more in sicily given that it's a more contained area um in the 1900s yeah sicily now i'm reading this i didn't highlight anything on this uh, articles there yeah uh, sicily 1900 sicily kind of godfather kind of a um thing that is going to happen for sure uh, very interesting to see hopefully they must they um uh, learned from their mistakes from previous games and they can correct a lot of the stuff that uh, because mafia 3 was not a, a very good launch i think the game had a lot of issues especially regarding uh, gameplay and, and, and performance in the game itself. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this will be a good game and I will keep my eyes on this one to see if it uh, wraps up to be a pretty decent one. And then I think this might be one of the stars of Gamescom. Uh, Monster Hunter Wilds in this one are the ones that are cutting more attention to me, which is Crimson Desert. Got three more boss battle gameplays. Again, I think this one is... Uh, Prison Desert, uh, they're, they're having a lot of uh, demo. Um, um, the, all these bosses will be appearing on the demo in Gamescom. Again, very interesting mechanics here. Uh, we got the climbing mechanic on this boss here, on the stone, uh, stone back crab. Uh, a lot of interesting mechanics also here, Stag Lord boss battle. The, I think we got kind of hyper, hyper armor. Um, the, the abilities there very interesting. Even the combat is very cinematic. I don't know if the developer that is playing that uh, is very well knowable, or the the battles themselves tends to be more cinematic style, which is very interesting. Uh, very uh, seems technical enough to be similar to Souls like kind of combat. There uh, got some abilities there. The only thing that I, uh, I it's not very uh, in line for my taste is uh, you can basically pause in the middle of the fight you got a quick wheel there uh, that seems to uh, um, um, not pause but delay the time uh, it's got the time dilation effect when you use that uh, quick wheel uh, but you got the consumables there uh, again it, it, it tends to easy too much the the the, the combat there um, but yeah it, it's just me uh, but yeah the we got hyper armor there we got a lot of parry mechanics dodge mechanics you got uh, even on this uh, queen stone back you got the over not overing but um, you got the glide mechanic with the uh, with his mantle there it kind of transformed me to a mystical uh, raven kind of a thing they're very interesting how they went about it uh, and again we are only seeing a combat uh for now uh I, I think this is like a super huge open world third person rpg whatever it, they are trying to go about this prism desert game but the combat seems pretty good uh again i cannot confirm hitboxes and everything but uh yeah the 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 the, the, the at least the boss battle seems pretty interesting and i think even in smaller enemies like human humanoid enemies you can do all that uh, wrestling uh, things that you can do like uh, uh, throw over the shoulder uh, and do all kind of shenanigans there um, this stag lord is very similar in terms of combat of the game of the same player so you are basically fighting with this uh, similar uh, fight style it seems uh, sword and shield uh, and then finally we got this read uh, devil boss very interesting uh, how we uh, how the the gameplay mechanics works on this one um, and in in this one you have a sense that the game is not very well optimized in um, distance detail you see some uh, if you pay attention at least on this one in the enter uh, in the first 30 seconds one minute you will see the mountains uh, um, at the, the far end you can see they are like very polygony kind of a thing kind of blocky still but uh, the levels of detail of this game that's uh, even with all the particle effects they seem pretty uh, run pretty smooth again so i will assume that this footage is using 
native 4K, at least that's my assumption for now. Um, I, I hope it's not upscaled footage. Uh, but even if it is, it seems pretty good. It maintains the, the as you can see here on the on the on, on the screenshot here. It seems to maintain a pretty good level of detail overall, and the fluidity. I, again, I didn't see any kind of stuttering on any kind of issues uh, in the footage itself. Again, this might be vertical slices. We don't know. Uh, for all we care, that might be just completely uh, vertical slices and the game is going to be a shit show in terms of performance. But for now, from what I've been seeing here, and we've been seeing a lot of in-game play footage, uh, this game seems to be uh, on the good uh, uh, road to a pretty good launch. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see uh, when it comes out again. Still no um, release date announced, uh, but uh, it, it's a good sign that they are showing a lot of in-game footage, for, especially from boss combats, to entice people. Uh, and I will keep, again, uh, my eyes on this game and, and give follow-ups as, uh, as best as I can there. But yeah, other than that, this is basically what I caught from... Uh, that interested me. You got, again, all the... the we got Starfield, the, the, the stuff there that, that I can remember on top of my head. Got Starfield, the, 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 the buggy thingy. The, doesn't interest me. You got Call of Duty. You got a huge, like, 10 minutes Call of Duty mission thing there, presenting there. You got some indie games that didn't catch my eye. And again, a lot of uh, uh, extraction shooters or, or, or multiplayer shooters, uh, hero squad, whatever it is, shooters. Again, a lot of those around there. Uh, if you talk about uh, being uh, having some market saturated, I think that one I I is one of those, if there is anything uh, like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, that what it caught my eye. I will try to keep my eyes on the rest of Gamescom to see if uh, something pops out that caught my interest. But yeah, I'll wrap up here with some game deals again. Uh, um, on Epic Game Stores, these are free games. We still have Death's, Gam uh, Death's Gambit Afterlife. It seems to be a pretty good game, at least it has very positive reviews on Steam, so you can catch the base game for free here, and uh, afterwards it's going to be the Callisto Protocol, which I will probably be doing a gameplay series on this game, <laughs> given that I don't have anything uh, on the works uh, behind the scenes except for Midnight Suns, I might be, I think this is a kind of a shorter game, so I think around 20 episodes should be good there and I think I can record there in a timely fashion so I can present uh, at the same time with Midnight Suns but yeah we'll have to wait and see about that one on Steam uh, we got Juson 45% off uh, on the base game we got Dredge uh, base game is 35% off you still have around one day for this one uh, we got Lords of the Fallen uh, this is the deluxe edition is 50% off uh, we got also Void Pastors again this got my stamp of approval. I made the gameplay series on this one. You can check out the first couple of episodes so you have a better sense of what this game is. Uh, but it's a it's a pretty good one. And it's 70% uh, off. Uh, we got also Blasphemous. If you like this uh, kind of games, kind of Metroidvania with Dark Souls kind of combat there. Pixel art style. Again, it's a very, very good game. And you got a demo here if you want to try out and see for yourself. But it's 75% uh, off, so I think it's a, a good deal here. Uh, on GOG, we got the Bioshock um, trilogy on sale. So the first game, it's the remastered version, 75% off. Same thing with Bioshock 2. And this one, the remastered version, has the DLC included. And the same thing is Bioshock Infinite. Uh, com this is a complete edition. Again, all the DLC, Burial at Sea. Sorry, Burial at Sea and the rest of it, 80% uh, off. And also Tomb Raider, Game of the Year Edition, again, all the DLC included, 80% off, and finally got Wall World. Again, I already bought this game, and I played, and I finished, and it's a pretty good game. Uh, I, I really think this is worth all the money, even at normal price, I think it's well worth it. And I really do recommend for you uh, to buy the Deep Threat, which is the, the playable DLC there. It adds up a little bit more uh, stuff on the story side and some uh, kind of more difficult mechanics there. Um, it lets you continue um, with, uh, when you reach up, there is a point that you cannot go, It uh, the DLC continues uh, beyond that point there. Uh, but yeah, very interesting mechanics on this game. Very addicting. It just it one of those games is just one more run. 
we've got some tower defense mechanics we've got some um mining mechanics there combat mechanics also some bosses here and there very interesting how this game uh, went about doing things there but yeah uh it's a recommendation for my part it's got a step all of approval here and yeah basically this is it uh for today uh i will wrap up with a plug on my patreon as usual and yeah the the extra support is at this moment in time for me to get a better storage solution so i can get backups of backups of stuff that i do for my clients and of course some extra space for the videos that i do for the channel and with all that said i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one so until then let me master out.